Whether you're a diehard football aficionado or just casually keeping tabs, there's a consensus, Real Madrid reigns as the pinnacle European team. They are not just good, they are arguably the cream de la cream globally. Even if not the unequivocal best, they are undeniably among the elite. Over the past decade, Real Madrid has stockpiled an impressive 23 trophies, boasting five Champions League triumphs and five Club World Cup victories. Their standout feat? A breathtaking hat-trick of Champions League wins from 2016 to 2018, a feat that seems insurmountable for others. Yet, for all their greatness, Real Madrid's history lacks a coveted treble in a single season encompassing the Champions League, Copa del Rey, and La Liga, a feat their eternal rivals, Barcelona, have accomplished twice in the 2008-2009 and 2014-15 seasons. Only eight teams in Europe have ever claimed this treble. Alongside Barcelona, Bayern Munich stands tall with two trebles in the 2012-13 and 2019-20 seasons. Manchester, a city often polarised, saw two of its teams, Manchester City in the 2022-23 season and Manchester United in 1998-99, achieve the elusive treble. Notably absent from Real Madrid's roster of treble winners is Celtic, who secured the feat in the 1966-67 season. Venturing into the Netherlands, PSV Eindhoven savoured treble glory in the 1987-88 season. Pre-Real Madrid, Jose Mourinho guided Inter Milan to a treble, while the illustrious Stefan Kovac steered Ajax to Eredivisie, European Cup and KNVB Cup triumphs in the 1971-72 season, a cherished chapter in football history. Securing three titles in a single season remains an arduous and scarcely achieved feat yet, for a football giant like Real Madrid, one of Europe's finest and most formidable teams, falling short of the treble winner's circle feels oddly unfamiliar. So, why does this powerhouse struggle to clinch the treble? Or, to soften the query for both Madrid loyalists and critics, why hasn't Real Madrid managed to secure the treble? The cutthroat competition within the domestic league might hold the key to Real Madrid's challenge in securing three titles in a season. While many tout the English league as the most fiercely contested, the Spanish La Liga, despite its frequent champions, presents a landscape of intense competitiveness. Furthermore, La Liga consistently hosts an array of top-tier players. Despite the league featuring a select number of competitive teams, unpredictability reigns supreme. Each season brings uncertainty, where either Barcelona emerges triumphant or the Galacticos lift the coveted trophy. Occasionally, their stride is disrupted, often by Atletico Madrid, though not as a direct step towards the title. Unexpected stumbling blocks emerge in the form of seemingly average teams, unforeseen hurdles that impede the progress of championship-aspiring teams like Real Madrid. In the previous season, Real Madrid's eight defeats, which ultimately saw them trailing behind Barcelona, predominantly stemmed from teams not deemed as contenders. Rayo Vallecano, Mallorca, Valencia, Real Sociedad, and even Girona managed to triumph over Real Madrid. This intense and erratic nature of league competition has resulted in Real Madrid securing merely three La Liga titles in the past decade, despite boasting an impressive five Champions League trophies, a paradox that persists within their storied legacy. In the domestic arena, it's not just about fierce competition within the league but also in venerable tournaments like the Copa del Rey. Despite Real Madrid's grandeur, triumphing in century-old tournaments remains an uphill battle. Admittedly, Real Madrid boasts 20 Copa del Rey titles in their storied history, the latest secured by defeating Osasuna in the previous season's final. However, this isn't a laurel for Madridistas to overly exult in. Barcelona flaunts a staggering 31 Copa del Rey trophies, serving as a stark reminder that in the last decade, from 2013 to 2023, Real Madrid clinched merely two Copa del Rey titles. Often, Los Blancos seem to falter before reaching the Copa del Rey pinnacle. Consider the 2021-22 season, despite securing Champions League and La Liga victories, they stumbled against Athletic Bilbao in the Copa del Rey quarterfinals. The preceding season proved even more disheartening. Failing to claim any trophies, Real Madrid bowed out in the round of 32 in the Copa del Rey, 
a setback exemplified by their loss to third division side Alcoano. Throughout history, Real Madrid has shown sporadic interest in the Copa del Rey. Frequently, when competing in the tournament, Los Marengs field players with limited game time. For instance, their defeat to Alcoano saw Mariano Diaz leading the attack while Karim Benzema remained benched. Despite reigning as the Champions League's most decorated club, Real Madrid doesn't always tread a smooth path. The Champions League resembles an unpredictable jungle, seemingly harmless at times, yet harboring unforeseen dangers, akin to encountering a lurking cobra. Los Marengs embrace the Champions League mindset, often thriving in pivotal encounters. However, they remain susceptible to unexpected defeats, as witnessed in the startling four-goal loss to Manchester City in the semi-finals of the previous season. Sure, City might overpower El Real, but what about Real Madrid's stumble in the 2018-19 Champions League last 16 against Ajax? They secured an away victory at Ajax but faced a shocking 4-1 defeat at the Santiago Bernabeu. That's the unpredictable nature of the Champions League. Besides skill, luck and resilience play pivotal roles, and Real Madrid often overlooks one of these elements. Over time, Real Madrid has undergone frequent coaching changes. Each new manager brings distinct philosophies and gameplay styles, influencing player selection and team dynamics. This dynamic poses challenges, especially in harmonizing the existing squad with a new coach's approach. This disruption invariably affects the team's performance in a season, particularly when multiple coaches helm the team within a short span juggling excellence across domestic league, cups, and the Champions League while adapting becomes a daunting task. The 2018-19 season exemplified this turbulence for Los Marengs. With Julian Lopetegui, Santiago Solori, and Zinedine Zidane taking charge, Real Madrid clinched the club World Cup but faltered in La Liga. Champions League and Copa del Rey. Securing three titles in a season demands more than just strength, resilience, competitiveness and squad depth, it requires a stroke of luck. Perhaps the gods haven't favoured Real Madrid with that luck. Maybe there's a lesson to learn from Manchester City's approach.